It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, what is this before us? This is Weller Craft Your Perfect Bourbon. CYPB is what they're calling it on the streets. CYPB. CY hey, hey man, you got any of that CYPB? <laughs> The answer would be no. Um, no, no one We has. don't even, I mean, this is here. I can, it's not a hologram. I can <laughs> physically touch it, but this isn't even ours. Right, yeah, we had to scrape and beg and plead uh, <laughs> just to get our hands on this to uncork, That's which right. was kind, kindly uh, allowed. But then it's going back. Back to its, to its home. Gone. We really wanted to do this one for you guys, and uh, we're just very we thankful yeah. for that magical person, so. We are, <laughs> I'm doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> so for those who don't know, tell us what craft your perfect bourbon even means. So this came about because a few years ago. This is um, real gold. <laughs> no, it's not. Chat. It's not. Oh, I, I looked. Did you yeah, like how yeah. I looked? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I've got the I've got the golden uh, ticket. That's what they should do. It's I know. Ba that's it's basically, basically what it is. basically Willy Wonka <laughs> stuff here while we're paused. So, a few years ago, Buffalo Trace put this thing on their website that was an interactive uh, consumer experience, and they basically asked consumers to craft their perfect bourbon. So you got to choose what proof it was, um, you got to choose the mash bill, I think uh, how long it was stored in the warehouse, things what like that. What level of the warehouse? Right, I mean, they how basically- How long you charred the barrel. Let you play this game, and ever, at the end of it, it would say, congratulations, you have a brand new baby, Elmer Tilly. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're- so, your taste from closest, I love those sounds, are closest to this. <laughs> yep, so basically people just, you know, it was like a game that we played. I know Chad kept playing, trying to get different answers. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, so, for the longest time, I didn't even know you could switch the mash bill over to Weeded. So I was getting... And it was like a whole new day. Yeah, I was getting Eagle Rare. I think I got Elmer T. Lee a lot. And I was like, oh, you can switch it from rye to wheat. I'm gonna try to get a pappy. I'm gonna get me a pappy. I feel like everyone was like, I'm gonna get a pappy. Oh, my perfect bourbon's the 23 year old pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> uh, no big deal. No big I'm deal. I'm just better than you in every yeah. way. I don't think that that was an option. I don't think it was, I don't know. I don't but anyways, yeah. so they were collecting all this data, right? Cause everybody's playing this game, you know, doing this interactive experience. Big brother. And yeah. Big brother Buffalo Whatever. Trace. Whatever, like you don't like the result. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, but go um, on. But yeah, so this is 95 proof. Uh, this is eight years. Aged on the highest warehouse floors for eight years and bottled at 95 proof. Uh -huh. So, so yeah. that that's what they're saying. All the uh, the data collected, averaged out to the majority of people said they wanted on the highest floor of the warehouse for eight years. So man, I mean, that's is this gonna be leathery or what? I don't, I don't know. know. But the part I like about because that's this the hottest is, part of the warehouse. So drinkers to craft their perfect bourbon online by visiting crafterperfectbourbon.com and choosing their ideal bourbon recipe, proof, warehouse location, and age. Thousands chose weeded bourbon, just like William Larue Weller did years ago, and I like that. I thought that was a nice little touch. We have on something there. in common with William Larue Weller. All right. Well, I suppose we should taste it. Let's smell it first. That's smells really nice. like a weeder, smells like a Buffalo Trace product, smells it, like a Weller. It also smells like kind of toasted and chocolatey. I can smell the f the flavors that I'm gonna taste, I feel like, mm -hmm. but for being 95, I feel like it's it's got some depth in the nose. Oh, sure. And that's always like kind of a funny thing sometimes when you're smelling a weeder and you're like, am I picking up on rye? I mean, where's that spice note coming from? You know, but I think it's that's just kind of the proof being funneled up through this uh, I do get the carrot. sweetness, like the candy, like the chocolate. Yeah, your classic caramel and vanilla, but yeah, that, that sweetness shining through. Mm -hmm. um, the rye not there to overpower the sweetness of the corn. Um, it's a good smell. Now let's try it. That's tasty. That's, it's smooth. Mm-hmm. You gotta say it's smooth. With a creeping, a creeping heat. Not a, not a super long finish though. And it is definitely going into kind of a drier barrel, uh, neighboring, saying hello to the area of like leather, leathery tobacco notes. Hmm. I don't think it's old enough to really get those, but I think being in the top of the warehouse could definitely get it more towards there. I think the proof is perfect. Like I think it's right where it, it should be. Is this your perfect bourbon? <laughs> I mean, am I like floored, blown away? There is no better Weller than this Weller. <laughs> no, I think all Weller, the whole Weller line is great. And yeah. I think this is a great addition to that line. And I think 
those of you who are freaking out because you can't find it, and you can't, I'm sorry, just like we couldn't, right, you will yeah, not be yeah. able to walk into a liquor store I guess or call the distillery <laughs> yeah. or anything like that. I guess we should address that, right? Yeah. Um, this is no longer on shelves. It's not at the distillery. Um, so before you add this to your list. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of like a, more of a unicorn. Sure. Uncorking, which we do from time to time. Yeah. We usually like to keep it ones that you can go out and buy, but mm -hmm. this is one that I think a lot of people had some FOMO. Had yeah, had some FOMO about. Had did. some questions about. Oh sure, we FOMO'd hard on this one. Um, so I'm glad we got get to try it here. Yeah. But this is delicious. Don't get me wrong. Like like I said, good job crafting your perfect bourbon. But I think you will people who like this or who have tried this will be just as happy with another Weller that you can find. It's very tasty. I don't have to say a lot. It's darker than your typical Weller. Um, I, I don't know if I could agree with that. I think I'd wow. have to try it by, side by side with the 12. Well, we, we okay, with the 12, sure. We uh, had our, our control bourbon, our bourbon to warm up our palates. It's like stretching before working out. We had uh, Special Reserve, mm -hmm. the uh, green, is it still green? Yeah, it's sure, still green. it's green. 90 proof, six year. This is 95, eight year. So I think that's a great one to, to Test it towards. Definitely. Like I said, I think this has its spot in the Weller family. You know, you've got your baseline special reserve, good for everyday sipping. Um, the 107, a little the more antique, a little more kick. Yeah, if those of you who like a little bit higher proof. And then you've got the 12 year for those of you who want the age and that, you know, really well rounded And a balanced. black label instead of a um, white label. Yeah, and then this guy fits in somewhere in the middle. And I, like I said, they're all great, but. Go after those three that you can get. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Well, even those three are kind of hard to get. They are hard, but days. they're not impossible. Especially the 12. Not impossible. That's right. We got a 12 this year. We did. For retail. I, we each got a 12. Yeah. Oh, we got two so 12s if we this can, year. So if we can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Couldn't get this. Don't stop believing. Yeah, don't stop <laughs> believing. That's right. But I do think after the second taste, it does. I'm, I'm sticking with it. No wrong answers, right? It does go darker. It goes more... Of like a dark milk chocolate. Mm hmm Okay. There, I said it. I don't know. Third taste. I think it stays at a good mid-level. It definitely has balance. It has depth of flavor, but that proof is just right. Just off memory, I think I would go with the 107. Now, everyone and their mother says that. Ooh. I would pick this. I would pick that. And then you can't say until you go blind, right? Sure. Um, so, in a blind flight, I don't know. But if I was a betting man, I would say... The 107, 107 proof kick of that uh, antique, mm -hmm. I think, is kind of more where I'm living right now anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Now against the 12, who knows? And I think it depends on the day and the mood I'm in too. Oh, sure. I wouldn't say no to this one, but I would definitely say yes to the 12 and the 107, so. Oh, absolutely. Now, I guess we got have to, you know, go on how we normally do with a recommend or not, even though, <laughs> I mean, 100% recommend. I don't recommend paying five <laughs> times what it's worth on the secondary. Um, I don't recommend. Don't don't enable. <laughs> now, retail on this one, I think, was like $40. Absolutely um, recommend that. Yeah, for, for an eight-year weeded, yes, recommend. Now, still kind of questioning, you know, like a 12 MSRP is less than that, and it's a 12, but mm -hmm. you didn't craft it. Right. <laughs> Someone else did, and it's, and it's 90 limited. proof. And this is more limited, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's I think is where there's the the sure. price the price uh, difference. But for a forty dollar eight year ninety five proof limited offering that is made of pure gold. Um, that's false advertising. False. That's don't listen. I, I would give it a recommend. I would definitely give it a recommend. Okay. And I think you know I think that your best bet is going to be to find your local bourbon bar that's got all the stuff and. If you really want it that bad, I think you just throw down a medium amount of cash for a pour so yep. that you don't have FOMO anymore because the likelihood of you getting a bottle and the ridiculous rate that you would have to pay, don't just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just try it at a bar yep. or find a friend that has one and be real nice to them. Mm -hmm. um, like we like did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's definitely recommend. Great value if you could find this on the shelf. At forty dollars, it would. Get it. I mean, just knocks it out of the park. But all of you know. So same with the twelve. Same with the yeah, one hundred and seven. Same with the whole line. The whole line. The whole line. So cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, like what we're bringing to the table here, please hit that subscribe button. That helps us out a lot. Hit the bell notifications. If you want to be notified when we're putting out our bi-weekly videos. What else, Sarah? 
Um, you can follow us on all the social media channels at It's Bourbon Night. Mm -hmm. And you can shop our Amazon influencer page at Amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night. And you can get some glasses. There's got books on there, barware, all the fun stuff that you need in yeah. your life. Just go there. Just, go there. <laughs> Just check it out. And then lastly, if you'd like to become one of our growing number of patrons, you can do so. Please check it out. Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night. Several different levels there. Lots of ways to interact. Polls and what's not. It's great fun. Uh, so please check that out. And I guess that's it. So thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Bourbon.